The clock. Police in North Brantford say there is a rise in property crime. And people in, in the town are frustrated. And now town officials are actually backing them up. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon is live in North Brantford with more on why this is becoming such a major issue. Well, Caitlin, when it comes to addressing crime, we know Democrats and Republicans have their differences. But in North Brantford, town officials are all on the same page. Town council, there's six Republicans, three Democrats, but they all agree on this issue. They're hitting everywhere in town. Linda Bureau is like many people in North Brantford, tired of the rise in property crime. Linda was close to even being a victim herself. We think something might have, somebody tried to break into one of our cars. There's a chance. Last week, police told us they deal with three to four car break-ins a week. This becoming more dangerous day by day. Earlier this month, a man was shot at while confronting criminals trying to steal his Audi. It was right in his driveway. Luckily, he wasn't hit, but town manager Michael Downs knows something has to change quickly. A lot of these crimes are being committed by juveniles who are being used by organized crime because they know there's a catch and release policy. Town Council just passed a resolution. It was unanimous and bipartisan, begging the governor and general assembly to address carjackings and thefts. The council claims the state has failed to adopt substantial measures to deter crime, adding current legislation has made the jobs of police officers more difficult. It's time for some action to be taken. Action like increasing sentences for robbery convicts, expanding offenses that can't be erased from criminal records, repealing aspects from the police accountability law, and increasing a misdemeanor to a felony for enticing juveniles. It's very odd in North Bramford. Very, very odd. You know, where are the parents? You know, when you got these kids on the street at 2 o'clock in the morning, and where are the parents? Now, Governor Lamont has been given a copy of this resolution. So have state legislators in this district and town officials in North Brantford hoping other towns and cities follow their lead. We're live in North Brantford tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.